world on, is everyone. your life and relationship coach Courtney Gatlin. I am here today with my good friend and X mentee Siegfried. What's going on, everyone? And today we want to sit here and talk to you about what we're doing with our lives, where he's at now, where mm -hmm. I'm at now, and for what I know, he's running his own catering business. Oh yeah, which is super cool it's and going super well. Uh, he used to be one of my uh, group home residents, and I don't know. There's something about the kid that just really, really it's lit crazy. up about me because he's been through so much stuff and it's just, it's actually really, really impressive of where he's at right now. Well, thanks, Corey. And it's so crazy. You got your catering business. Mm -hmm. What else are you doing these days? So what I, what I really am focused on right now in this video is I'm hopefully, or I am starting an inspirational foundation called Siegfried Speaks. So my website's being developed. I have a YouTube channel, Siegfried Speaks. But most importantly, if you're watching this, follow me on Instagram, Siegfried under hyphen official. Uh, just daily inspiration, a little bit about, um, you know, more information of who I am and what I'm doing on a daily. Uh, I'm hoping to start a movement through this inspirational foundation of defining the statistics. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, when you say hoping, uh, my mentors are... James Allen and Earl mm -hmm. Nightingale and Napoleon Hill. And Napoleon Hill says, we are what we think about this all day true. long. So I'm thinking about it a lot. So instead of hoping, that. you are. I am. Yeah, so I am starting an inspirational exactly. foundation. Um, the movement that I am starting, thank you, Courtney, yes, is defining the statistics. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, what that is. Defining the statistics enables children who are born into situations that automatically put them in the category of statistics so okay. like me father's household yeah. children who've been abused um children with a parent in prison you know they're more likely to end up in prison themselves so what they call at risk yeah at risk so i'm really hoping to empower these at risk children and saying look we don't talk about statistics but people treat you differently because of them but instead of being victimized by them i want them to understand that they're empowered because they're in that situation because they're in that situation, they can take action, mm -hmm. which will, in return, define the statistics in the future and giving them a chance to change the world. And I want to start this right here yeah. where I was raised in Sheboygan community. So I'm speaking at a couple high schools I have already, and um, I'm super excited to see where this takes off. Yeah. So um, yeah. that's awesome, man. You want to rewrite the story. Yeah. Because there's only, you learn so much from that darkness. That is so true. Yeah, and I think that goes into why I'm doing it too, which is, um, which is really important. I feel like, you know, as you saw, I was in juvie, shelter care, um, K-1, which is like for those who are depressed and really struggling to, you know, live day to day and uh, eventually end up foster care system, group home, where I met Courtney. And uh, I really struggle a lot, and I feel that the, the reason I'm still alive today is to show these children, you know, I've been through so much and it doesn't matter where you come from. And I really just want to lead by example and, and show them that it's really like you said, the seeds that you have in your brain and you water those and the positive thoughts and just doing that day in and day out, no matter what anyone says to you, the way they look at you, or even the self-doubt in yourself, which is probably, I would say, as you can probably agree, the hardest part. It's really hard. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, I like, I can't wait to see, I've already got a lot of positive feedback and, um, yeah, we'll see what the future holds. So and I'm going to put him on a spot a little bit, tell Ooh. a little bit about a story about from when he was actually one of my residents and I was actually, uh, working there. Uh, we went to the movie theaters one day hmm. and I forgot what the movie was, but at the movies, uh, as I was learning a little bit more about trauma-informed care, uh, dealing with people who struggle with trauma, he showed a lot of those signs while we were watching this movie. And the movie was like loud, had explosions, gunshots. And I saw that his body started to shift a little bit and he got really uncomfortable. And then I guess the, the loud noises was kind of bringing back some maybe PTSD type you know, child abuse or something like that. Yeah, and I asked him if he was okay and he said, no, I'm actually not. So we actually left the theater early and that really hit home for me as far as just how past trauma can really affect somebody. Mm -hmm. So I think, that was the, I think that was the same day we actually went back to the group home and had that talk about how where I came from wouldn't determine, you know, 
where I'm going. Exactly. I think and, that uh, that was that was such a almost a, I, you know I don't want to say but a life changing moment for me you know and uh, so awesome. I'm gonna put him on the spot too. <laughs> and uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh. So. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Zigfried under hyphen official. That's where you're going to get all of the different links to my YouTube channel, Facebook, everything like that. So, and if you don't like inspiration, I know everyone loves food. And I'm always cooking, cooking up a, a storm. So make <laughs> yeah, sure to yeah. follow me. For sure. Thank you so much, Corda. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Man. Thank you.